I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Check us out, man. I just want to thank FormFit for the partnership today on actually today's video, the next video, and then the video after that. We got a three-part series with the body analyzer scale, which you can get 60% off right now with code AFTERMATH. With code AFTERMATH. 60% <laughs> off. We'll go over further details about the body analyzer scale if you don't know about it already. But once again, I'll have this discount as I did before. So please check it out in the description. Today's theme is about balance. All right. A lot of people ask me, like, Teron, like, how is it that you fit all of these aspects of fitness into one body? Certain um, workouts throughout the week or throughout the month or throughout the year and what your purpose or goal is for that time frame. You know, as you'll see me in the years, if I'm trying to do a 800 pound deadlift or 500 pound bench, those are my main priorities for that time until I decide to put my mind elsewhere. All right, I need to get faster, you know? So I let myself build up, get to that point, and then, you know, work on something else once I get to that point. And then, of course, when I come back to that, all right, I wanna bench 500 or seven or 800 deadlift again, I'm gonna have to build myself back up, but I'm still stronger than what I was the first time around, right? So I already know what to do. So once you already know what to do, you already have that, that muscle connection that, all right, your body is, kind of getting into gear to get ready to lift some heavy weights. And then there is a growth era as well. So what we'll do is we'll go through what I actually do in a week. We'll do a push-pull workout, we'll do a squat workout, leg day workout, which will be usually glute, hamstring focused. And then we'll have a conditioning day. Conditioning day will be Wednesdays, right? So we still burn fat, we still um, get that internal health going. And then once again, back to another push-pull day and then a quad dominant leg day, right? Quad, probably some calves and stuff as well. And um, that's gonna be the cycle that we're gonna go through. So today will be push, pull, like, and subscribe for the next episode, which will be the leg day. And then we got a conditioning day. Let's get it, this is how to stay balanced. Hey Jeff, show them, show them what we working with right now. We working with the new Division turret. We just got the ZU Crane 3. So if this video is stable, it's because of this bad boy. So, I'm gonna go back and forth, four sets of 10 for pull-ups, actually chin-ups, and then we wanna come to the row machine. The landmine rows, we wanna get do a pyramid, probably about 15, 12, eight, six, go pretty heavy on that. The best thing for me, when it comes to balance and strength and volume and conditioning, staying lean and strong, is pyramid. Pyramid sets has always been something that I've always done throughout my entire training life, so pyramid sets and drop sets as well uh, clubs will always be So two pool movements done. I'm gonna move on to bench, which is gonna be my strength main for chest. And then we got some accessory work for the deadlift on uh, for my third exercise for back. And then we got two more exercises for chest as well.
drop set now. Six rocks all together right now. Right now, I'm breaking it down, full rep, and I'm coming down to a negative, dropping to the knees, one, two, negative again, dropping to the shins, one, two, down. It's about five, five reps. Two, three, ah! Two, ah. one more. Remember, to control to the whole thing. Explosive up, one, two, one, two, and even at that last one, two, you're still controlling it down. Don't just drop it down. It's the last million. Two sets of five, two twenty-five, two sets of three, and three fifteen. Same tempo. Rip. Everybody keep tagging me into this bodybuilder dude doing this shit, so I'm gonna do it. I need some ginger. Uh, finish out the back with some rows, 315, four sets of six. So now we got single arm, 
floor dumbbell press, sets of eight, three to four sets. All right, if you got uh, enough energy for that four set, definitely get it in. I'm gonna use the probably 100 pounds to start out because I haven't did this in a minute. So this is our second chest movement today after bench. So we did the two pull movements with the chest, finished off uh, another two pull movements, the accessory work for the deadlifts and then some uh, pendulum rows, which is from the ground straight back up. And then now we've got two more chest exercises. Which is, this is the second one right here. <sighs> Laying down. So right here, got that perfect 90 degrees. One, two, three, four, uh, six, seven, eight, across. It's like about a minute break between each. <gasps> Last set. You could also do this with a barbell. Let's focus on protecting that shoulder, working on those triceps, working on that upper half of the, the bench press because you're limited. Once you come to that ground, that's like that perfect 90 degrees right here, and then you're pressing back up. This is also good for a good pump. Um, I've done this, like, usually I actually like to do this when I'm focusing on volume as like the fourth exercise on a chest day, just strictly chest day. But today, that's not the main goal. We need that single arm unilateral strength, that core strength. The core is having to work very hard just to keep my body in position to properly do this. So you'll see a lot of like, the, you know, the, street, the, the straighter my feet are on the ground, you'll see a lot of like shaking or whatever just because my core has to work so much to keep that 100 pounds on one side that's trying to level me off. So last movement for the chest. We got four flies now, 10 reps with 10 reps, super set of push-ups. Back over, 10 reps. Use the dumbbells this time to get a better stretch. Last set. All right, that's the workout. Once again, hit that like and subscribe button. Check out the Form Fit Body Analyzer. 60% off people. This is the scale that checks your, your body mass, your muscle mass, water, bone density. Check it out, yo. Also, nah, I ain't gonna let them know. I ain't gonna let them know right now. Y'all find out. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.